What's going on people? You know it's your boy Nesta back again with another video. Yo, it's been a while and I know the last time y'all seen me, I wasn't looking like this. The fro, you know, looking crazy. But you know, these times are the COVID times and you know, after quarantine, so I'm not even taking the chance. I'm going to no barber or nothing like that. But you know, most importantly, I'm back again. I hope that everybody's doing fine, staying safe from COVID and taking care of themselves. But <clears throat> today, we gonna talk about that time I got arrested. <laughs> the time, the one and only time, cause you know, growing up I was a decent boy. I wasn't too much of a troublesome youth. I was, a, I was a good youth, you know. So we gonna talk about that one time, the one and only time I ever got arrested. So I'm gonna tell you why it happened. So it happened in school. So one day we was at school, and you know. We don't I don't I wouldn't really call it gang uh gang related or gang affiliated, you know, we just hang out with people that we know. You know what I mean? We wasn't rocking no flags, none of that. We wasn't repping my boys, we wasn't repping nothing like that. We were just hanging out together. We was all from the same area. So I went to school in the countryside, Jennings Secondary School. That was in the countryside. I live in the town side, so I have to take a bus, go all the way to school, whatever, whatever. So Everybody that I hang out with, that I was hanging out with, you know, we are from the town side. We know each other, our parents know each other and all of that, you know. So, you know, we had beef with some of the boys from the countryside. You know, we didn't really get along like that, you know. You know when you're young, it was like the petty stuff. Oh, if you if you step on my shoes, we gonna fight. If you brush my shoulder when, when I'm walking, we gonna fight. Stuff like that. That's the reason that we would fight when we was going to school. Simple stuff like that. So. You know, we was all hanging out in the hallway and you know, all the town boys and you know, this one country boy, I'm not gonna mention his name, you know, he, he very popular, he, you know, from Bolands, that's the area. And you know, we all was in the hallway and he purposely walked through, cause we was on both sides of the hallway and he walked through the middle and stepped on one of my boy's shoes, my boy Randy Slugmout. You know, he stepped on his shoes and you know, Randy run up on him and you know they start fight and then you know you know a bunch of country boys start running and stuff like that and we all just got into a big fight it was like it was like probably six or seven people against seven people and it was just a big scuffle you know I, you, you know you're just holding on to people swinging and it went crazy and you know out of nowhere you're seeing you know these guys there's some grown men that was from the area for some reason i don't know they ended up in the school <laughs> in the school like on the campus you know they 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 end up there and i'm like what so it's like you know they're from the countryside so they're gonna come and you know make sure their boys is good so i'm like nah this is crazy so you know they ended up there so we all run we ran out of the um the hallway we went to a different section of the school me and all our boys we gathered up there and make sure everybody was good and then you know they was looking for us and stuff like that but during the fight one of the boys from the countryside he got hurt really bad you know i think two of my boys was fighting with him you know pelpa rest in peace pelpa he passed away <clears throat> um you know pelpa was fighting against one of the country boys and my next boy vikies and they all got into a fight and you know you know one of them hit him in the back of back of his head the boy from the countryside he got hit in the back of his head with a big stone you know and they stomp him out and all of that and he ended up going to the hospital but they they hurt him real bad so we all left the hallway and we all gathered up in a different section of the school and we was there and then you know we heard that they were coming so we had to run so we ran through the back part of the school because ain't nobody you know so we already in the countryside number one we live in the town side so they are they have the advantage you know it's like they're in their area so and plus they had grown men coming onto the campus to the compound and stuff like that and we was like nah you know so we left like seven seven of us are so we left but the crazy thing is to get to my school it's one word to get to my school one word in one word out ain't no way around it unless you're gonna walk over the mountains out the hills so we you know we had to leave and so what we did you know obviously we have to go and get the bus i'll get a ride so we ran down to where the street is and we had to hide you know basically we hid by a shed and we, you know we was there for a while and then when the bus come we ran out and we jumped on the bus and head back to the town area so once we got to the town area we gathered up and we was all uh, talking about the fight and whatever whatever and yo yeah go mommy daddy soon finish okay 
you know, we gathered up and we was talking about the fight. And, you know, then, you know, we were just, you know, just, you know, just talking about it and stuff like that. Then everybody went their separate ways and went home and whatever, whatever. We don't know that the boy got hurt that bad that he had to go to the hospital. So, all they know that they, you know, they know what they did to him and stuff like that. And everybody know what they did. Who was fighting who and, you know, who was looking out for who and whatever, whatever. And, you know, you know, it was that's it for that day. And then the next day, you know, went to school, regular day. And, and you know, I was in class and, you know, you just hear, you know, they come, somebody come to your class and say, yo, you know, you got to go up to the office. And on my way up to the office, when I went up there, I seen that there was, you know, my boys up there and then the boys I was fighting against, they was up there too. And it was some of them, not all of them, because some didn't come into school that day. And, and all of my boys was there. So we all was there and the cops was there. So I'm like, nah, <laughs> but you know, nobody run out anything. They, they, they took us, they, you know, they put us in the police vehicle, whatever, took us down to the, the police station, precinct, whatever they might call it over here in New York. But they took us to the Borlands police station, right in the village where them boys live at. So, you know, they put us there. It was like, shh. It was like probably 10. I would say maybe 10 of us in, they put all of us in the same cage, in the in the cell, whatever, in the cage in the police station. And imagine you just get into a serious fight the day before and the day after, all of y'all in the same cage in the police station. <laughs> you know, it was like it was like the weirdest feeling. I'm like, yo, you know, it's my first time getting, you know, arrested and like, you know, it's like they really put you in there, lock you up in there, and I'm like, nah. So, you know, but me and my, you know, I wasn't like fretting or anything, you know, I was just there like, you know, and this is stupid, you know, so we always there and I'm telling you, it was a small cage too, it was like probably eight foot, probably by seven by seven feet, I mean seven by seven feet or eight by eight feet and it was just a box and it was small, so all of us had to, like, all of us couldn't even sit, some were standing, some were sitting and for some weird reason, you know, we, you know, we all in the same spot. We're not gonna fight again, you know, with the with the cops right there and stuff like that. And so we just sat there. Then we was talking about the fight. And the the, the crazy thing about it is that we all started talking about the fight and you know about the beef and whatever, whatever. I'm not saying nobody really shake nobody hand or whatever. We were just talking about oh, I did this to you, you did this to me, whatever, whatever. But it wasn't intense. We were just talking about that and. We couldn't leave or anything until our parents came. So we had to stay there until whenever our parents came. And you know, it's like at the time we was like around 15, 16, 17. I don't think nobody was over 17. It was between maybe 14 and 17. And excuse. And so we was there. Some people parents came early, you know. You know, their parents came, then you had to leave a statement, and then you had to leave out because it was a serious matter because the boy that got hurt, he, he was in intensive care. You know what I mean? So, you know, they had to, it was a serious matter. The cops had to get involved. So, we was there in the cage, and we was all sitting down there, and I'm, shh, the cops came to my school like maybe 9 or 10 in the morning, and uh, we, well, for me, because I left some people there, my mom didn't come there until about... My mom didn't come and get me till like four in the, in the afternoon. So, you know, we was there for a while, nothing to eat, nothing like that. We just had to stay right there until our parents came. And, you know, you know, you had, we had to give a statement when we was leaving. So nobody could have moved, nobody could do anything. Like, and they was telling, you know, stories about, you know, the cops that's there and what they would do to you or whatever, whatever. But nobody was really afraid. We were just chilling, you know, we know that we, we did something wrong. so. We just stayed there, some people came, parents came, they left, then some of us had to stay and, and then my, my mom came and got me, then I had to leave a statement and you know, it, it went to court and stuff like that, so all of us had to go to court, you know, there was a court date, we all had to go, you know, I, I was released from the case because it was more about, it wasn't about the whole fight, it was about the boy that got hurt. They just wanted to get to the bottom of who hurt him, you know, who was the one that hit him with a rock in his head and who stomped him out and stuff like that. I didn't see anything. That's what I told them. You know, I know I didn't do it. And then, you know, they, you know, they have my boy, my boy Pelpa. I think my boy Pelpa, um, he pleaded guilty for it or whatever. I'm not sure, but, you know, I had to go to court for a couple of days until they tell me that, you know, you know what, 
you know you don't have to come anymore because they wanted me to give a statement on what I saw and whatever whatever you know I just said what I said I'm not even going to tell y'all what I said but we had to do that and I was released after going to court maybe two or two or three times um, they released me from the case a couple other people got released from the case until they they got the story all the way down to who did it and then they got the charges for it and stuff like that but you know that was the end of it you know that was my my one time getting arrested you know it, to me it wasn't I'm not even gonna sit here and lie and say oh I did this and I did that and you know that wasn't me you know what I mean I was a good boy growing up you know I wasn't the, the, the cool you know I wasn't the nicest kid but I was a de I was decent and you know you with your boys and everybody get into a fight you're not gonna just stand up there and you know not do anything you know you gotta do something it's either you're gonna break it up or you're gonna join in and you know that's what we all did and you know it was cool and you know that that was basically the end of it you know we went to court then i got i got you know taken away from the case and stuff like that and that was about it but you know just the part of being in the cage that was the funniest part you know because like you get arrested with the same people that that you was fighting with everybody was in the cage a small cage that you can't everybody can't even sit down in the cage together because it's so small and you just end up talking to you know not not like you making friends with them but you just end up talking about the fight and whatever whatever and stuff like that but i'm not gonna say it was a good moment but no, no nothing was good about that moment but that's just what it is that's just it the first time the one and only time i ever got arrested was from school because of a, a fight you know group versus group fight now i'm gonna say young click whatever just me and my boys fighting against other people and their boys and you know that was it and that's the end of it so people there you go you get to know something about me the one and only time i ever got arrested and you know just make sure you drop a like on the video comment let me know what you think and subscribe to the channel for people you already know it's your boy nesta thank you for watching boom yeah i had a dream that we made it to the top floor we was living like some kings on the world so they were screaming so loud on the encore and my mama so proud who could want more more